question, we're told we have a curve C and it's given by the formula y is equal to 2 e to the power of x subtract 6 ln x and it passes through the point P with x coordinate 1, find an equation for a tangent. So this is quite a straightforward question. Uh, we need our equation in the form y subtract y1 is equal to m x subtract x1 where we need to find obviously um, our m which is our gradient of our tangent and our y1 x1 which is a coordinate which is on the tangent and on the curve. So uh, what we're going to do, firstly we're going to get our easy mark, we're going to substitute x is equal to 1 into this equation and y would therefore be equal to um, 2 e to the power of 1 subtract 6 ln 1. Ln 1 is 0 so this is y is just 2e. Now always leave your answers as exact, don't decimalize anything. Okay, so our coordinate is 1 and 2e. Okay, now we need to find our gradient. Uh, so we've got y is equal to 2e to the x, subtract 6 ln x. So dy by dx is going to be equal to uh, e to the x differentiates to e to the x, so 2e to the x differentiates to 2e to the x. Ln x differentiates to 1 over x, so this would differentiate to 6 over x, like that. Okay, so we want to find the gradient at the point x is 1, so dy by dx when x is equal to 1 is going to be given by 2e to the power of 1 subtract 6 over 1, which is just 2e subtract 6. Okay, so now we can substitute into our uh, straight line equation y subtract 2e is going to be 2e subtract 6 um, x take away 1 as follows. So you could simplify this if, if you wanted to, you don't have to, but you could simplify this as y subtract 2e is going to be equal to, well we've got 2e subtract 6 x's and then you've got um, subtract 2e subtract 6. Okay, multiplying that out as follows and uh, if you were to add the 2e to both sides you would have y is equal to 2e subtract 6x. You've got a negative 2e plus a 6 there. If you add the 2e, you would just have the plus 6, so plus 6 as follows. So that could be your equation of the line. Up to the original question, it says the tangent to C at P meets the uh, coordinate axis at the point Q and R. Okay, so find the area of the triangle OQR, O is the origin, uh, show that the area is as follows, okay? So basically we've got some curve, let's just, we don't know what the curve looks like necessarily and we don't really care what the curve looks like, but we've got some curve, let's just call the curve um, something like that, okay? So let's call the curve something like this. And we know that the, there's a tangent at point P, so the tangent at point P, imagine this is point P here, okay? And it says that the tangent uh, meets the x-axis at Q and R. So if we draw a tangent there, something like that, this tangent, this equation of the tangent that we've just found out, meets the coordinate axis at uh, point Q here and point R here, and it's asking us the area of the triangle OQR. So what we need is we need the y value uh, where it crosses the y-axis and we need the x value where it crosses the x-axis. So basically we need to find where this tangent crosses the x and y-axis. So where it crosses the, let's do the crosses y-axis first, where it crosses the y-axis x has got to be 0 and clearly y is equal to 6 there if you put 0 in here. Now where it crosses the the x-axis y has got to be 0. Okay so we're going to solve the equation 0 is equal to 2e subtract 6x, add 6, and we're going to solve for x, so take away 6 off both sides and divide by this, x is going to be equal to negative 6 over 2e subtract 6, like that. So that's what x is going to be equal to. So if you're trying to work out, so let's just label in these points here, so this y value here it is going to be y is equal to 6, so this height here is clearly 6, and this uh, width here is clearly going to be 6 over 2e subtract 6. Now if you work out uh, 6e, if you work this out on your calculator, which we should do, this is uh, negative 6 over 2 
e subtract 6 like that it actually turns out to be a positive number so I haven't drawn the graph accurately the graph or the triangle would have actually been going that way but it doesn't matter we know this is a positive number okay so if we're working at the area of this triangle the area of a triangle the area is going to be half the base times the perpendicular height so that's going to be a half this base here which is a positive number so um, this here is going to be negative 6 over 2e subtract 6 okay multiplied by the height of 6 as follows so let's tidy that up half multiplied by this would be negative a uh, half multiplied by 6 would be 3 and that would be therefore negative 18 over 2e subtract 6 let's see up here what we were asked to show it was it was uh, asked to show it was the following so what we could do is from the top we could um, uh, that's clearly we could write that as negative 2 multiplied by 9 and on the bottom we could write that as um, we could factorize that a negative 2 and we would get ourselves 3 subtract e like that and we could divide the top and bottom by negative 2 and we would get our answer 9 over 3 subtract e and we were looking for 9 over 3 subtract e as our area so we're done in that case